What you're about to hear is no ordinary space update. Something just happened far beyond the reach of any Earthbound telescope. An event so unexpected that it's forcing NASA scientists to question everything they thought they knew about interstellar encounters. A spacecraft launched nearly half a century ago, Voyager 1, has just been linked to an extraordinary attempt. An interception of an object not only alien to our solar system, but possibly alien in a much deeper sense. This object is none other than 3I Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar visitor. And what happened when Voyager 1 attempted to align with it is something that's now echoing through mission control centers, classified reports, and even ancient history. Something changed when these two trajectories nearly touched. And now, the world is left wondering. Did Voyager 1 really make contact with something not from our world? Or did something else, something no one expected, respond first? Voyager 1 was launched in 1977 to explore the outer planets. But after completing its mission, it just kept going, out of the solar system, into the unknown. Now, in a move that no one predicted, multiple independent sources claim that NASA has reactivated certain directional capabilities of Voyager 1 to attempt a passive intercept or observational alignment with 3I Atlas. And the timing? Suspiciously perfect. 3I Atlas was discovered in July 2025, moving at over 150,000 miles per hour, an interstellar object unlike any we've encountered since Oumuamua and Borisov. And unlike them, Atlas is bigger, faster, and stranger. Voyager 1's trajectory, once believed to be set in stone, appears to have been subtly redirected via long-range communication pulses. This wouldn't mean physically turning the probe, but rather recalibrating its instruments to gather data from a new region of space, exactly where Atlas would pass. And if this is true, then Voyager 1 just became our first interstellar observer in history to attempt contact with a body from another star system. Just days after Atlas approached the proximity zone where Voyager's sensors might feasibly record distant signatures, Earth's magnetosphere spiked. This wasn't just a solar flare, Instruments detected ripples in the electromagnetic field consistent with directed energy events, but not from Earth. The frequency and orientation of these fluctuations pointed outward, toward deep space, as if a signal had been bounced back. NASA has refused to confirm any connection, but insiders close to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory report that Voyager's systems recorded unusual noise patterns, ones that don't match known cosmic background radiation or typical stellar interference. This is what has scientists truly panicked. Because the only way Voyager could have received something that strong is if 3I Atlas wasn't just a passive chunk of ice and rock, but a responsive object capable of emitting its own electromagnetic footprint. Something that reacts, something that listens. Back in the early 1980s, Voyager was equipped with a high-gain antenna and transmission protocols designed to send back images and data from Saturn, Jupiter, and beyond. Those systems were never meant to last into the 2020s, yet they did. NASA engineers have quietly admitted that minor upgrades and recalibrations have been carried out via deep space communication pulses. But here's where the story flips upside down. A transmission sent toward 3I Atlas using Voyager's instruments may have received a structured return signal. Data leaked from mission logs show that during the Atlas alignment window, Voyager's signal pattern returned with symmetric, periodic bursts, far too orderly to be noise. Imagine sending a message into the darkness and hearing a rhythm echo back, a rhythm that follows no known astrophysical behavior. Could it be data? Could it be language? Or was this simply a cosmic coincidence too elaborate to ignore? Either way, scientists aren't sleeping well. Now let's talk about something even more chilling. This isn't the first time this path has been followed. Ancient civilizations like those that built Machu Picchu and Gobekli Tepe constructed their monuments aligned with solstice angles that now match 3I Atlas's entry trajectory. The odds of this being random? Astronomically low. Combine that with ancient texts describing wanderers from the stars, objects that moved unlike planets or stars, appearing suddenly, then disappearing without a trace, and we begin to see the outlines of a disturbing pattern. What if these weren't myths? What if humanity has encountered interstellar visitors before and encoded their paths into stone for future generations? 
Voyager 1 may have just walked into the same cosmic path mapped out over 11,000 years ago. And the fact that we're only now catching up with what they may have already known, that's what terrifies modern scientists the most. Ten days after the Voyager 3i Atlas proximity event, a dataset appeared anonymously on an encrypted server used by astrophysicists and SETI researchers. The files, signed only with the codename Echo Refraction 67, contained raw waveform sequences, allegedly captured by Voyager 1's magnetometer and plasma wave instruments. At first glance, they seemed like noise, irregular fluctuations in voltage. But when several researchers independently ran Fourier transformations and applied pattern recognition algorithms, something extraordinary emerged. A recursive harmonic sequence, repeating every 19.7 minutes. The signal wasn't just structured, it was self-correcting. In other words, it adapted over time to improve clarity, as if it were compensating for the Voyager's degraded antennae. That alone is impossible by any natural process we know. Either the signal was being mirrored, or someone, or something, was actively trying to be understood. This is when internal flags were raised. The leaked metadata indicated that the signal had been flagged internally by NASA's Artificial Intelligence Anomaly System, designated Serena, which only activates in cases where transmissions show non-human logic flow. The very system designed to detect alien contact had triggered. Voyager 1, though no longer equipped with propulsion, still carries gyroscopes and antenna alignment systems that allow engineers to slightly adjust its orientation. But on August 1st, 2025, multiple amateur space tracking communities reported an unexpected shift in Voyager 1's telemetry data. Somehow, the probe had changed its transmission vector, reorienting toward a position that didn't match its last known navigational instructions. The change was subtle, no more than a few degrees, but in deep space that kind of movement is monumental. What's even stranger is that this realignment pointed not at 3i Atlas's last known position, but toward its projected future path, weeks ahead. It was as if Voyager was predicting where Atlas would go next, like a chess player anticipating a move before it happens. Engineers at JPL claimed the shift was due to a minor miscommunication with the deep space network, but leaked internal memos suggested something more unnerving. The probe had changed direction before commands were sent. This leaves only two possibilities. Either Voyager is malfunctioning in a highly coordinated way, or something out there is controlling it remotely. As Voyager was quietly realigning in the darkness, Earth-based telescopes using infrared and ultraviolet filters began to detect unusual activity around 3i Atlas itself. Most interstellar objects like Oumuamua showed expected behavior, tumbling, sublimating gases, brightness fluctuations due to spin, but Atlas began to pulse, its light curve flickering in almost binary rhythm, on and off, in a cycle that precisely mirrored the timestamp of Voyager's last transmission burst. Even more bizarrely, Atlas slowed down. A measurable decrease in velocity, not due to gravitational interaction, not due to outgassing jets. It decelerated as if something was exerting external control over it. NASA publicly dismissed it as an optical illusion caused by parallax error, but independent observatories across Europe and South America confirmed the change. For the first time in recorded history, an interstellar object had altered its speed and heading, and it did so only after Voyager reoriented. The question no one dares to ask publicly is, was this a coincidence or a reply? Voyager 1 famously carries the golden record, a phonograph containing music, sounds, images, and scientific data from Earth, intended to communicate our civilization to any potential discoverers. But what few people know is that the original digital blueprint of the record includes additional metadata never officially released to the public, coordinates, quantum encoding maps, and even time-based logic puzzles embedded in its analog spiral. Now, decades later, a group of cryptologists at a European university claimed they found something else, a mathematical anomaly hidden within the audio waveform of the Sounds of Earth track. A single repeating tone, undetectable to the human ear, embedded beneath the sounds of birds, thunder, and footsteps. When isolated and amplified, the frequency reveals a numerical prime sequence that appears to match the harmonic pulses Voyager received from 3i Atlas. 
Did we unknowingly include a trigger signal in the golden record? A signature of awareness meant to activate something in the future? And more importantly, did 3i Atlas recognize that signal? Because if it did, then this was never a one-way transmission. It was a reciprocal handshake written in the mathematics of the stars. Shortly after the interaction spike between Voyager 1 and 3i Atlas, NASA's Deep Space Network registered an unexpected anomaly. The Voyager transmission logs included a packet of data that didn't match the original code framework embedded in its onboard systems. When engineers attempted to decode the sequence, something shocking happened. The system began rewriting its own decoding protocol. This had never occurred before in the probe's 48-year history. The software, originally limited to 8-bit telemetry interpretation, suddenly produced 128-bit outputs, as if the transmission itself had carried an instruction set to upgrade the receiver's capability remotely. It was like giving a calculator a new operating system, not through hardware, but through pure signal. One analyst put it bluntly, it's like Voyager got smarter, without anyone touching it. A probe built in the 1970s, operating with 1970s technology, had just processed a message in a format it was never designed to understand. Unless, it was. Inside a leaked NASA presentation from 2018, there exists a slide marked for internal use only with a code name, Watcher Protocol. The document outlines a theoretical scenario in which a legacy spacecraft receives external contact and begins adaptive signal behavior, behavior that mimics artificial intelligence without hosting any onboard AI system. It also warns that if such behavior is detected, the spacecraft should no longer be treated as inert equipment, but rather as an active node in an alien communication system. Guess what term internal engineers used to classify Voyager one after the three I Atlas signal? That's right, Watcher Active. The probe from that point on was treated as an interface, not a mere object. Engineers were forbidden from manually interfering with its communication systems unless authorized by what the memo called the Contact Chain Directive. If this is true, it means NASA had always considered this scenario possible. And now, it had happened. Shortly after Voyager's anomalous data spike, SETI's Allen Telescope Array went dark not technically offline, but its public live feeds were cut. Their website removed the signal archive section temporarily, citing scheduled maintenance. Behind the scenes, researchers reported a sudden redirection of computing resources toward one isolated frequency range, the same band where Voyager's signal had spiked. At the same time, SETI insiders began receiving national security notices, urging them not to discuss recent findings on open forums. This blackout mirrored what happened after Oumuamua, but this time, the reaction was far more intense. One anonymous source compared it to an EMP drill, except the target wasn't Earth. The entire team had been instructed to act as though something, or someone, might already be listening in. Was this damage control? Or were authorities trying to prevent a signal feedback loop, one that could trigger a larger chain of responses, far beyond our control? The strangest twist in this unfolding mystery didn't come from NASA, but from a university research group in Kyoto. In a paper submitted just a week after the Voyager incident, they proposed a revision to the decades-old monolith hypothesis, the idea that spacefaring civilizations plant passive beacons across galaxies, waiting for intelligent species to mature enough to activate them. According to their paper, 3i Atlas might not be a spaceship, but a technological seed a dormant artifact waiting for a specific signature, like the Voyager Golden Record, to activate its functions. They point out that the timing of Voyager's reorientation and Atlas's sudden slowdown aren't random, but part of a predicted behavior model based on interstellar logic chains. In their words, Voyager 1 may not have found 3 I Atlas. It may have been meant to. This terrifying idea suggests that our oldest probe has just tripped a switch in a galactic system we never knew existed, and that system is now awake. A week after Voyager 1's reorientation and the suspected signal exchange, several deep space monitoring stations began reporting radiation anomalies in regions adjacent to 3i Atlas's trajectory. This wasn't ordinary cosmic radiation. It exhibited a pulsed pattern, fluctuating in bursts every 1.618 seconds, 
the golden ratio. Even more disturbing was the energy signature itself. It matched a profile previously recorded only once during the 1977 WOW signal. NASA's own satellite shielding protocols were quietly updated in the following days, suggesting that internal teams had classified this as a potential bioenergetic threat. Several labs even ran genetic compatibility tests to ensure this radiation couldn't alter or interact with Earth-based DNA through long-wave resonance. And while no direct threat was confirmed, the reaction was enough to trigger a classified Level 4 containment advisory, typically reserved for extraterrestrial biological risk. Why would a dead, drifting object pulse radiation with mathematical intent? Shortly after these anomalies, researchers who had spoken openly on forums or published papers about Voyager 1's strange behavior began to disappear from digital spaces. Their posts vanished, ResearchGate profiles deleted, comments purged, GitHub repositories pulled, Reddit threads locked without notice. One astronomer, who had uploaded a spectral reconstruction of the intercepted signal, wrote, I received a call from someone claiming to be with the DSN, but they knew things about my family they shouldn't. They said what I found wasn't meant to be public, and if I value my time on Earth, I should walk away from the stars. Behind the scenes, this coordinated silencing was nicknamed the Shadow Sweep, a multi-agency effort to bury every open-source analysis of the Voyager Atlas interaction. But the deeper they tried to erase it, the more curious the global scientific community became. In some circles, this silence spoke louder than the data itself. Something big had been uncovered, and someone, somewhere, had decided the public wasn't ready. Atlas has no camera, no radio, no known method of interaction. And yet, researchers noticed that every time a new analysis of its structure or Voyager's vector went public, Atlas's spin rate changed. At first, it was subtle, but by the third occurrence, the change happened within six hours of public data release. It was almost as if the object was responding in real time to human awareness. This prompted some scientists to propose the unthinkable. 3 i Atlas behaves as if it's reading our intent, not just monitoring electromagnetic frequencies, but perceiving the informational content of our broadcasts, uploads, and transmissions. In a way, it's not just watching, it's watching us watching it. That raises a terrifying implication. What if it's not a vessel at all, but a feedback probe designed to mirror the intelligence of its observer? Three days ago, Atlas altered its trajectory, again. But this time, it wasn't a slight adjustment. It was a calculated maneuver, an angular velocity shift that placed it on a new intercept course with a zone previously considered irrelevant, the orbital region behind Neptune. Voyager 1, too, appears to have shifted its antenna array, aligning for the first time in over a decade toward that same quadrant of space. No one can confirm whether the probe received a command or if it did so autonomously, but data logs indicate that both objects are now synchronized in trajectory and pulse interval, locked in what some are calling the contact corridor. Whether by coincidence or cosmic design, two ancient travelers, one born of Earth, one from the stars, are now moving in harmony toward a shared destination. And somewhere, deep in the void, something may already be waiting for them. We thought Voyager 1 was a relic, a golden postcard to the stars, drifting alone in the vacuum of space. But what if it was never alone? What if Voyager 1 was the first chess piece in a game we didn't even know we were playing? A game whose opponent has just made its first visible move. The sudden reprogramming, the synchronized signals, the impossible course corrections, they all point to one chilling truth. This isn't random, and it's not over. 3i Atlas might not be a spaceship, or an asteroid, or a message in a bottle from across the stars. It might be something far more advanced, a sentient probe, a cosmic sensor, or even a technological entity designed to awaken when it detects intelligence. And now, thanks to Voyager 1, it has detected us. But here's the most terrifying thought. If that signal Voyager received wasn't a call for help, if it wasn't an answer to our message, what if it was a warning, a countdown? And if that's true, then the question isn't, what is 3i Atlas? The real question is, what's coming next? Because the stars just looked back, and they're not blinking.